Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Andrew Pesteridge, welcome to another Sim Market Spotlight Review for under 5 minutes, and today we're taking a look at the Golden Age Simulations Myers OTW160. It is a plane that was built in the 1930s for training biplane purposes. It was in anticipation for demand for training aircraft calls by the introduction of the civilian war, and it was built by the Allen Myers Aircraft Company from 1936 to 1944. It features a 160 horsepower Kino R5 engine and it is made for all versions of prepared and FSX. Now this is a plane uh, that was uh, launched in uh, 2022 and it is available on the Sim Market website for 18 euros. The link is in the description box below. So let's get inside and let's go for a flight. As you can see, it features high quality, fully animated 3D model and four period correct liveries. It has uh, 3D modeled gauges, a fully modeled detailed Kinner R5 radial engine, it's high resolution 4K textures and a virtual cockpit custom sound package with volumetric propeller textures and high fidelity sound files. This is a absolutely bargain of a plane from uh, Golden Age Simulations and if you are into uh, vintage uh, aircraft Golden Age Simulations is the best developer for retro Golden Age type planes where it's the um, the vintage piston engine planes available uh, the flight deck I think is absolutely ace inside here you get a little flight bag where you can have your uh, your map pop up you can have your checklist come on where you can actually start up the engine using this ch uh, checklist properly. It also comes with a radio navigator, so this is a communications radio, so you can actually fly on VATSIM with it. And it also comes with a small GPS built in. Now it also comes with a pop-up here where you can actually have the avionics GPS in the flight deck and your uh, comms radio there, or you can actually put on uh, pit out tube covers, cockpit covers, tie downs, wheel chocks for your walk around when you are on the ground. The model as you can see is absolutely fantastic. The engine is absolutely realistically been represented and reproduced here. I think this is a absolute bargain. The uh, outstanding stick and rudder aircraft this is by Golden Age Simulations and truth be told when you fly a biplane, you've pretty much flown them all. There's very little that separates one from another, and of course there are differences, but they are rarely noticeable in flight simulation unless you play, pay very close attention. Some do have much better speed capabilities in general, they're all low and slow flyers. But that said, this Golden Age Simulations Myers OTW feels very much different, very true to its original uh, real-life counterpart. It's a slow poke for sure with aerobatic capable biplane, but it has a different sort of character that stands out from the others. Uh, it's something that makes the OTW stand out is the performance is the narrow windows of which certain acrobatic maneuvering can be performed correctly. Relatively weak powered engine doesn't offer much speed or acceleration to execute spins and rolls. You'll need to rely on more of a combination of factors to do one type of maneuver and be aware of how it allows for recovery before attempting another. It is a tricky plane to fly, but it's a very simple plane to fly, but once you learn and are able to master it, it is a beautiful plane to fly. And as you can see, when you are flying it, you have the full uh, view of the world around you. It's an open cockpit, and it has a, just an amazing fun feel to it. So, Go pick it up on the Sim Market website. Like I said, it's 18 euros available now. The link is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, every single month I do a giveaway for 50 euros of Sim Market vouchers for flight sim add-ons. All you have to do to be with a chance to win is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment down in any one of my P3D videos. And at the end of the month, I go live with a vlog and announce the winner. Thank you so much for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.